My question is to the Minister for Indigenous Australians. What support does the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander voice to Parliament have in our Australian community? Yes. Give the call to the Minister for Indigenous Australians. Yes. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Today I welcome news that the NRL formally supports an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander voice to Parliament. Yes. See that we've got some dogs people up the, uh, in the uh, galleries. How are you? That's my team. <laughs> <laughs> First Nations communities have deep bonds with rugby league and are part of the game's fabric at all levels. From Joel Thompson to Nico Himes, from Jonathan Thurston to the great Latrell Mitchell. The NR and uh, GI, of course. The NRL would be unrecognisable today without the enormous contribution of Indigenous players. The NRL joins an amazing list and the support is growing day by day. The NRL, the Australian Olympic Committee, Tennis Australia, the Collingwood Football Club, the West Coast Eagles Football Club, Carlton and Adelaide and the great Eddie Betts said this. It's a small step, but I think it's the right step to have a voice to be heard. I've taken the time over the past 12 months to speak to elders, community members and people I trust to get more information about the voice. I feel like it's the opening of a pathway to make sure we're included and respected in decision-making on issues. And as Peter Fitzsimons in the Herald wrote, to be able to look back with pride in decades to come on the fact that it was on the right, that sports in Australia was on the right side of history, a bit like Peter Norman was at the Mexico Olympics supporting, supporting black athletes on the podium. But it's not just the NRL, it's Qantas, West Farmers, Woolworths, the Law Council, the Business Council of Australia, the AC, ACTU, FECA, the Arab Council of Australia, the Imam Council of Australia, all state and territory first ministers, religious charities to numerous dimension, all churches, university, and most importantly, tens and tens of thousands of individuals. Can I just say that this will make a, pract a practical difference on the ground, and that's what the voice will do. And over the next few months, few months, thousands of conversations will happen across this country about what the voice is and why it is needed now. It will make a difference. And I know, I have absolute faith in the Australian people saying yes. Yeah.